Hey everybody, Will from Studios on B3D here. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Nova 3D Whale 3 SE. This is an AK printer with a 10.3 inch mono LCD. It also comes equipped with a COB light engine, with better light uniformity than most parallel light sources. It also has Wi-Fi built in for monitoring and uploading your print files, as well as an autofill system and a leveled bed out of the factory. Let's get right into it. First thing we're going to do is get everything unpacked. First thing we have is a quick setup guide, with QR codes to scan so you can get the printer manual and software. Next we have our power cable. First thing we're going to do is remove the UV cover. The Nova 3D YL3 SE comes with quite a thick UV cover. It's quite heavy, but it's very sturdy. Once we have the UV cover off, we're going to go ahead and remove the foam inside of it that contains the build platform as well as the resin vat. Now we can go ahead and remove the printer from the bottom of the packing foam. Next inside this piece of packing form, we're going to have our box with all of our accessories and tools. We can just go ahead and get rid of the packing bag for the printer now. Next up, in the foam that was inside of the UV cover, we're going to have the autofill stand. It comes with a cap that fits on a resin bottle that sits in this cradle, allowing you to keep the resin levels constant. The only drawback is that the cap only fits on certain resin bottles. I didn't have any bottles that the cap fit on, so I wasn't able to give it a try. And here we have our resin vat. This is a really nice resin vat. It's a solid aluminum vat. Next, we're going to lay out everything on the table so we can take a look at what comes with the Whale 3 SE. Here we have everything laid out that comes with the Whale 3 SE, including the printer itself and the UV cover. Here we have the autofill stand, our power supply, at the cable for the power supply, and the factory leveled build platform. Next we have the handles for the resin vat itself. They have a really nice set of handles on here, making it nice and easy to remove and replace the vat. And here we have our tools as well as several extra screws. As usual, we have a few pairs of gloves, our plastic scraper, and our side cutters. And here is the autofill cap. It fits on the Nova 3D resin bottles, but I didn't have any in house, so I couldn't give it a test. And you also get a couple big filters and a spray bottle. And then here we have our aluminum resin vat. It has a little stand on the back here for the autoville cap. And here we have a quick start guide with a link to the manual. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the handles installed on the resin vat. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to put the thumb screws in that secure the vat to the printer. You have to make sure you put these on before you put the handles on or else you won't be able to get them in place. You simply screw them into place and then they'll drop down. Once we have the securing thumb screws in place, all we have to do is use the four supply screws to secure the handles to the vat.
Now we can move the resin pad out of the way so we can install the autofill stand. Also using four supplied screws, you're going to go ahead and secure this to the back of the printer. You need a long allen wrench to be able to get in there to secure everything. Now we're going to go ahead and plug in the supplied Wi-Fi dongle. It has to go into the USB port on the front. If you put it into the back one, it will work, but a USB drive won't. Now we can go ahead and power up the Whale 3SE. Nova 3D has a really nice, easy to follow menu system on their printer. When you first power it up, you simply have to choose your language and you're ready to go. Here we have the main screen. This is the task menu that pops up while your printer is printing. The Whale 3SE also has 8 gigs of onboard storage. You can also use the USB drive in the second USB slot. Here we have the control menu. The bed comes leveled from factory, so you don't really need to do anything with this menu. But I do recommend checking the level of the bed, just to make sure it's good. And here we have our settings with our firmware information, our LCD check, and our internet settings, as well as our clean FEP screen. We're almost ready to go. Now we're just going to remove the protective plastic on the screen. Nova 3D has a glass screen protector installed on the Whale 3SE from the factory. If you see some bubbles, it's not a problem. You just want to make sure the black tape around the edge is nice and secure. Next, we're going to remove the protective plastic on the bottom of our resin vat. And then we can slide this into place and secure it. All that's left to do now is install the build platform, fill it with resin, and start a print. Now the bed comes leveled from the factory. I went ahead and used it as it was and I had no problems. But if you find that you're having any kind of issue, you might want to check the level just to make sure it's good. Sometimes these factory leveled beds can be off a little bit. Now all we have to do is load up a file and we're ready to go. I was fortunate to receive the UV sensor for the Beagle camera, so I was able to get some really nice time-lapse videos of some of my prints on the Whale 3SE. Here's the first print I did. This is the Odin bus from Photos Mint. The Beagle camera, this was the first test of the UV sensor. And here I am, the second print I did, the Magneto bus from East Mint. These prints came out fantastic. Here we have a closer look at the Odin bust. I was really impressed by the amount of the detail the Whale 3 was able to get. The 8K screen as well as the COB light engine did a great job of bringing out the detail in the Odin bust, as well as the fabric of his robe and the Celtic carvings that he wears on the front. Even his raven on his shoulder came out fantastic. And here we have a closer look at the Odin. The raven on his shoulder came out fantastic with the detail in his feathers, as well as the fabric of his cloak, and the carvings on the front. I was really impressed with the Whale 3 SE 8K and how it performed. And here we have the Magneto bus from Eastman. This model came out fantastic, just like the Odin. The amount of detail in Magneto's armor is fantastic. The 8K screen does a really good job. I use any cubic water wash resin for most of my prints as it's the easiest to clean up and you get a good amount of detail out of it. And here we have one of the alternate heads for the Magneto bust. 
The detail on his face is really nice, especially the fabric around his neck on his suit. And here we have one of Photos Mint's newer prints. This is the Odin Bust. I was really impressed with how the Whale 3 SE handled this print. There's a good amount of detail on this print, and it really shows. The robe Hades wears has a ton of detail on it, as well as the scars on his skin. I was really impressed at how it came out. I was really impressed with how this brooch came out on the Hades bust. Even the texture of the skin came out really nice. The Whale 3 SE is a really capable 8K printer, and I can't wait to get some more prints off of it. It's definitely a worthwhile investment if you're looking for a new 8K printer. The Whale 3 SE only has 5 times AA, but it does a really great job of smoothing out the prints while maintaining all the detail. And here I have a skull from a Wicked 3D model. I was really impressed with the cracks and the growth lines that were on the skull. The Nova 3D Whale 3 SE did an amazing job of this skull. Alright everybody. That was my setup and review of the Nova 3D Whale 3 SE 8K printer. This is an absolutely solid 8K printer. I highly recommend checking it out if you're looking for a new resin printer for your studio. Thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe for more from Studio Zombie 3D. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.